Pupils from eight schools across the county came to Tiverton Hotel on Friday to showcase their mathematical art. Year five and six pupils have been involved in a project to create sculptures based on maths in collaboration with Devon County Council's primary maths team and sculptor Simon Thomas. Today's event is a uh, gathering together of all of the schools that have taken part in this project, the project being um, a construction system which enables children to investigate different aspects of mathematics. And what have you made of the sculptures here on show today? They said that they were inspired by me, but to be honest I feel quite inspired by them as well. Um, they've all had a lot of fun, um, they've gone off in different directions, um, they've taken uh, problems and mistakes as opportunities, which is really encouraging. Um, fantastic, and they've all put a lot of work into it, teachers, everyone. Work on the sculptures has been taking place throughout the month and teachers welcome the opportunity to let their students get creative. Well, it, the maths and the art are obvious, they're there straight away, but there's also, I think, even more important parts where the children have had to work in teams and they've had to problem solve. And that is a really important life skill that they will carry on, hopefully, for the rest of their lives. So this has been a real challenge for them as far as problem solving goes. Yes. And have you been getting involved? Um, how have I been getting involved? By supporting them, really. Just uh, by trying not to interfere too much, because that's really easy if you're a teacher to dive in there when you shouldn't. And just standing back and letting them really, really get, get on with it themselves. The project's been great. The children have really enjoyed it. It's linked math and arts uh, and arts really nicely. Um, they've worked on lots of different um, areas of numeracy and it meant that we were able to invite a parent into school to help us with the art side of the project. How has this fit in with the curriculum? Um, it fitted in brilliantly with the curriculum. The Year 6s who have been working on the project have just coming to the end of their time with us at South Martin Junior School and it's been a really nice um, end of year project for them, um, showing all of the maths that they've been working on through the time they've been with us. Pupils were also proud of their achievements they made during the process. Well, it's, it's sort of like a caterpillar if I carried it on. Well, basically what I did was I started off with just, I got lots of circles and I increased the length of these straws going up and decreased the length of these so it made it curve around. So it's, yeah. Right, so why did you decide to go for a caterpillar style sculpture? I don't know, cause I, I thought it'd be, it's different. It's, well, I've learned a lot about math and about percentages and how you can just get some straws and nodes and I make them into brilliant things like that. Yes. <laughs> and how much fun has it been to get involved and do this? It has been really fun, yeah, because only a couple, some people are picked out of the whole year and I'm very honoured to see fit for that, for this. How long and how much effort did it take to get your display here today? A weeks. Um, yeah, a couple of weeks. We did it a couple um, of weeks. And what were the main challenges, do you think? Getting it to stay together. <laughs> yeah. Was it always breaking apart? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Even now it's a bit broken on the yeah. inside. Uh, but you seem to impress uh, Simon here. Yeah. Yeah. Think so. Yeah. 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 Yeah.